Hello YouTube world, my name is Serenity and welcome to Staying Serene. Today I just want to share with you what mindset we should have for 2020. I'm actually super excited for the new year and I'm ready to just have a new year and just start all over again but I just want to share with you what we should bring with us in this new year in terms of our mindset and what we should think. So it's very common for us to make New Year's resolutions. I've made my New Year's resolutions and I found that I actually do not keep my New Year's resolutions very well. Um, I find that after a few months, I might forget my New Year's resolutions or my New Year's goals and forget about them until the next year. That's not really a good mindset or behavior to have, you know, making New Year's resolutions that we do not keep. And another common saying that I've heard around New Year's is, New year, new me. It's basically when people decide to reinvent themselves in the new year and it ties in with the new year's resolutions because they're thinking, new year, new me, I'm gonna do some new things this year, I'm gonna do what I need to do this year and have my new year's resolutions. But that mindset, new year, new me, can be not very beneficial, it can be very detrimental in fact to what we think because when you really think about the words new year new mean it actually means that every year you're deciding to become a completely new person every year you're trying to be a new person and you can't expect yourself to be a new person every single year i mean there's a lot of years that we've lived and i can't expect to be a new person after every year it's not realistic and not really a good thing to do and so I decided to change that and think New Year improved me. So basically New Year improved me means that take what you've learned from this last year and make a better year. Improve yourself. Because when you think about it, who you are today is a culmination of years of learning, of mistakes and of growth. And we can't expect to throw that away every new year to become a new person. So when you change your mindset to new year improves me, you're thinking about ways that you can improve, you're thinking about ways you can improve, you're thinking about things that you can do better. You're thinking about every mistake and everything that you've learned in 2019 and how you're going to apply that to 2020. You're going to make 2020 a better year because you are better than you were before. So basically, I want to switch the new year new me into improvement. And basically, what have you learned in 2019 and what can you do with all that you've learned? How can you improve yourself in 2020? What can you do better? I mean, you may not have accomplished all of your new year's resolutions in 2019, but what have you learned? Like, what didn't work this year? And Determine what you're not going to do in 2020. There are some things that you've done in 2019. There are some things that you've failed at, mistakes that you have made. What are you not going to do at to, in 2020? Oftentimes, you don't think about that. We try to think about, um, what am I going to do in 2020? What am I going to do differently? Which isn't bad, but sometimes, what are you not going to do? What are things that you're not going to settle for in 2020? What are you going to do better? And allow yourself to be imperfect because 2020 is going to be a very interesting year and allow yourself to make mistakes, allow yourself to just learn and just always look at it through a growth mindset. Think, what can I learn from this? What can I apply to my life? What can I, how can I grow? How can I improve? I mean, this improving mindset, it really helps us to, to realize that through everything that we've gone through, especially in 2019, that we can use that to become a better person, to be, to have a better year. So that's really what I want y'all to think about on ways that you can improve in 2020. It is good to make goals in 2020. It is good to make goals and maybe even to make a few New Year's resolutions, but I want you to find ways where you could actually accomplish your New Year's resolutions this year and find ways that you can just improve yourself. There are so many areas you can improve on. So maybe instead of thinking about reinventing yourself this year, becoming a completely new person or having a brand new list of New Year's resolutions, how about you take that list from 2019 and try it again? See how you can improve. How can you make your resolutions stronger? I think it's kind of weird how we expect to change our lives in one year. Our New Year's resolution is for one year. And we oftentimes change our New Year's resolutions every year. So for 2019, you had this resolution, you did an accomplishment, that's okay. 2020, you made new resolutions. And you may not even accomplish those, but every year you're thinking about New Year's resolutions and 
basically the point of being new. But why don't you take some of those old New Year's resolutions and try them again this year, but actually take steps to accomplish them. Actually see how you can improve. Maybe you've accomplished some things this year because I cannot, I cannot assume that you didn't accomplish any of your New Year's resolutions because hopefully you did accomplish one or two. Take that New Year's resolution that you did accomplish and make it more difficult for yourself. Make it a challenge. If you told yourself you're going to the gym twice every week in twice a week in 2019 and you were able to accomplish maybe once a week or twice a week and you only did it for a few months, see, aim for longevity. See how long you can continue going to that gym. Or maybe if you've already have a hardcore habit and a hardcore way of doing things for your resolution, maybe just double it. Maybe just see how far you can go. Because there's always ways that we can improve. Every single day of our lives, we can improve. So I challenge you. So instead of thinking about becoming a completely new person in 2020, just improve. Improve on those things that you know that you've done well in 2019. And avoid those things that you know that you do not want to repeat from 2019. So I just hope that you get something from this message. I pray that you have a wonderful and amazing 2020. May the Lord bless you, your family, and bless you in all of your endeavors. I want to wish you a happy new year, and I hope you had a very restful, thankful, wonderful Christmas with your family. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I just thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.